Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni. I'm here with Cass, and we're going to be showing you a release, a positional release that you can do for the intermediate fibers of the internal obliques. Now, these are ones that if they're overactive, they can really sustain uh, diastasis rectus abdominis um, and or um, precede someone who might get some kind of an abdominal wall dysfunction or pelvic dysfunction or hip or lower back, right? So if we are too um, dominant in these intermediate fibers of our internal obliques, it can cause a lot of dysynergy and dysfunction in our abdominal wall. So this is a very good technique to use with your clients, doesn't take a long time. And then after I show it, the positional technique with, with me doing it, forecast, then I'm gonna show you how you can um, position the client with a lot of pillows for them to um, do the same thing to themselves without you having to use a lot of touch. All right, so I'm gonna put my arm through here. And um, I learned this positional technique from my mentor, Diane Lee. Um, so I have one forearm at the rib cage and one forearm at her pelvis. So I'm, she's already side bent, right? But I'm reinforcing that. And then I'm going to bring her torso head back so she can roll her head and chest back a little bit. Good. And I'm kind of rotating her pelvis forward. So these intermediate fibers of the internal oblique come from the back of the ilium and they reach up to the last three ribs. And so if they are overactive, they're pulling down on those last three ribs, creating this habitual rib splay. Um, and a lot of clinicians think that this overdominance of the internal obliques and this intermediate fibers um, really helps to sustain um, the, the DRA. So I hold this for 20 or 30 seconds, I wait. And then when I release her, then I stretch it in the opposite direction. So she can bring her arm forward, she can just let her head relax and fall into the pillow, right? And then I want pelvis rotating back ribs rotating forward, so we get a lengthening in this area after we release it. All right, so now I want to build her up with pillows so you can see a way that the client could do this to themselves, either in the studio or practice it at home. So Cass is going to sit up because we have lots of pillows that we have to get here. So her head's going to go here, and her feet on these, so it creates this natural side bend for her. And then from here, so she's already side bent, and she's going to roll her head and chest back, right? And think about the pelvis moving a little bit forward. And then she can even, it's usually um, around the 10th rib, if someone does have this overactivity, there's going to be a tender spot. So the client could monitor them that for themselves. And so when she goes into this rotation, we want to find a place where that kind of softens a little bit. And then she holds and she waits. Right? So we're creating, again, a slackness in the area um, that is starting to help us change that whole network of the fascial tissue. And then after 20 or 30 seconds, she's going to go into the stretch. So when she goes into the stretch, we can kind of lose the pillows. <laughs> we'll try to do this as gracefully as possible. There we go. Lose the pillows under the feet. And then she can really think about lengthening this area between the bottom of her rib cage and her pelvis, getting as much length between her shoulder 
and her hip as possible. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.